me to get a real strong sense of what the show was. And uh, I was really, really inspired by what I saw in the original series. And when they uh, asked me to do Amon, I, it was one of those gigs where I almost beat myself. It was, <laughs> I mean, the quality of that show is just unsurpassed. It's amazing. The attention to detail and the, the creators behind it, uh, they, their passion for a great product is evident and continues on every single level, so it just gets better and better. So. Can I get you to say one line really quickly? Sure. Do you have a line written down? Oh. Oh, it's in the quotes. Okay, here we go again. Okay. And Tom, do you know his voice? Can you say it? All right. Oh. Ready for this, guys? We'll be right back with more Avatar. And now we're back with more of The Legend of Korra, only on Tsunami. I don't know if it's going to happen, because that's Nickelodeon and Tsunami. Yeah. There's a lot of love there, you know, and we all like each other in the industry. No competition at all. So. <laughs> Alright, so raise your hand if you know why I'm speaking right now. Yeah, I heard, well, because I'm really deaf and a lot of you, this was the last question. Aww. It's sad. Aww. It's really sad. Actually, uh, let mom speak. We let mom speak. The person that tells me what to do just pushes on my forward. So, does that, does that mean we have another question? And I say, Amon speaks. <laughs> That's what I really sound like.